Thank you for purchasing the Matrix 530. This system is designed for single side laminating from SRA4 size up to SRA2 using laminating film from 25 to 32 microns in thickness. You can laminate from 150 GSM stock thickness upwards quickly and easily without the worry of your finished prints curling. Before you begin, please pay attention to the important safety features on the MX530. The system features a front safety guard which must be put in place during operation. There are two emergency stop buttons on the MX530 which can be used to stop the machine if a problem or hazard occurs. The buttons can be released with an easy twist. The MX530 is CE approved. The control panel has been designed to be easy to use. After turning your machine on, the first setting to enter is the temperature. This is dependent on how thick your stock is and normally ranges between 100 to 120 degrees centigrade. Once set, the ready light will begin to flash. When the temperature is reached, the ready light will illuminate. Next you need to set the speed. This ranges between 1 meter per minute and 7 meters per minute. For setup purposes, set the speed to 1. To set the correct length and overlap of your prints, measure your document including the bleed. For example, on an SRA3 print, the actual sheet should measure 450 millimeters with a 5 millimeter bleed. So you need to set the length to 445 millimeters on the control panel. Finally, set the press position. This adjusts the separator settings and to do this you need to refer to page 16 of the accompanying instruction book for guidance. During setup you need to set the anti-curl setting to number 1 as demonstrated. Once you have done this, feed a sheet of plain SRA3 paper horizontally, again as shown and ensure it feeds through the feed rollers, laminating rollers and anti-curl device. Ensure this also feeds through the first set of rear pull rollers. Laminating film and prints can be stored on the handy shelves underneath the matrix. Take care when loading the film as rolls can be very heavy and may require two people to lift. Using an Allen key to unscrew the core holders, load your film centrally onto the mandrel, ensuring it is loaded with the film coming off the bottom of the roll facing the front of the machine. Thread the film behind the guide roll, ensuring the adhesive side is facing up and place over the heated laminating roller. Take care not to touch the actual roller as this will be reaching the required temperature and will therefore be hot. With a second sheet of plain SRA3 paper, tack the sheet to the laminating film and drop the front pull rollers and the first set of rear rollers down using the pressure handle. Next, set the switch on the control panel to manual and check the speed is set to 1. You can increase this later on. Ensure the machine is set to forward and then finally set the start stop switch to run. Lay your print on the feed tray aligned up to the paper stop guide. Set to auto on the control panel and press start. Let the print run through the machine. Once the test print has gone through the rear rollers Check that it is separated successfully and has landed in the catcher tray. Now you can set the anti-curl. The amount of anti-curl you set depends on the thickness of the stock you are using. Thinner stock requires more anti-curl. Once you've selected the anti-curl, reapply pressure to the pull rollers. If you're unsure what setting to use on the anti-curl, please refer to the instruction booklet. Set the perforating wheel to the edge of the laminate. If you want to apply more pressure, turn the top knurled knob and adjust the supporting wheel. Please note, do not add too much pressure. Set the inclined guide wheels at a slight angle away from the perforating wheel. Now you are about ready to start laminating, but before you do, 
Remember to replace the safety guard after the film has been loaded. Set the start button to run. To feed your prints through the MX530, simply underlap the next print and push it up to the paper stop. The MX530 will automatically take the next sheet using the overlap that you set earlier. You need to have minimum tension on the film to run each job. The tension can be adjusted by turning the core collars clockwise. Now you can set the machine to auto. Select the desired speed and begin laminating. Remember you can always increase the speed if you need to once you've started the job and are competent at feeding your prints. If you want double sided laminate on your prints, you can simply run your print back through the other way. When you have finished using the MX530, set the switch to stop and release the pressure on the rollers. Always check that the machine is switched off at the back and at the power point on the wall. If you do not feed a print into the matrix straight after the previous one, or if you misfeed the print, the machine will automatically stop and the failure light will flash. To restart the machine, position the next print at the paper stop and press start. Then continue to feed the prints. If your prints are not separating, check the perforating wheel is scoring the laminate and add more pressure if required. Ensure the inclined guide wheels are at a slight angle and check the press position is at the correct setting. Adjust this if needed. It is important to regularly clean your rollers, particularly if you are laminating different size prints on a regular basis. To clean the rollers, first carefully cut the film well away from the roller with a pair of scissors or a snitty knife and release the roller pressure. The roller should spin freely. It is easier to clean the rollers when they are warm as any laminating adhesive will come off easier. However, make sure the rollers are not too hot to touch before you try to clean them. We recommend using a product such as AmberClean on the metal rollers. This is a solvent based cleaner and a milder product such as Amber Cleanse on the silicon rollers. Remember to replace the safety guard after cleaning the rollers.